Okay, in this uh, presentation, what we're going to do is look how we're going to look use the empty cars data set. Okay, and what I'm particularly interested in is correlations. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to subset the empty cars data set and I'm going to pick out miles per gallon and then disp to QSEC. Okay, so just what I'm going to do here is set up dplyr. Okay. And I'm going to just call my data set cars2, okay, and it is select from empty cars, the first one, and then third to fifth, sixth, seventh, okay. So head of cars2, uh, car2, cars2 even. Uh, yeah, we can we'll go a little bit crazy. I think it's one to eight. No, one to seven. No, three to seven. It's fine. So it shouldn't messing around there. So uh, what I did there is I picked up the first and then the third to seventh um, um, variables. Okay. So what I could do here is what you are able to do with just base R is just get a correlation com. Uh, matrix like that okay so what we want to do here is just sort of see can we use the gg ally, ally package to help us out here to visualize that okay so install gg ally remember the capital g's there okay so our data set is called cars2 okay so gg uh, what is it gg core is the name of the command two r's cars2 there we go. So it is a, a lower diagonal matrix, so to speak, um, and it's essentially so it's not. It's just it's essentially uh, bright red means highly correlated. Uh, like very pale there, white means no correlation at all, and then dark blue is negatively correlated. Okay, and uh, those I just picked out six variables there because you could do obviously do it with way more variables than that, but it is just that's just the right amount. Um, now, so what I want to do here for next now is just sort of see can we, um, I mean, you also actually something you could do is change the palettes as well. Um, but let's just have a look at the help file, let's close it down and because sometimes what we might do is gg core is we want to see can we use pearson correlation and so on things like that uh you no know, we only got two actually pairwise and pearson i don't really think that helps us a whole lot i was sort of interested in see did we have spearman or anything like that um nope okay yeah run away all right that's a nice short sweet video how to do a, a correlation heat map to complement your correlation matrix and that is that there's also ways you could change the colors of, of course but I, that's sort of a separate video for another time